It is really exciting, but not only because we resume the regular in-person activity, also because the mood of the people, people are very interested in attending this meeting, exchanging ideas. So it looks very upbeat and very active and vigorous. I'm impressed. Well, I, I think I said it in the introduction. Um, I chose on purpose the, uh, the focus on immunotherapy uh, of leukemias and uh, other hematologic malignancies because of the rapid evolution uh, of uh, new drugs in the immunotherapy field. Uh, that doesn't mean we should forget targeted therapies. Many of those uh, targeted drugs are still emerging and coming up. But the field of immunotherapy surprised me because of its role in lymphomas and leukemias uh, to, to an extent beyond what I expected. It, it's an interesting question to me, particularly, because for years I thought about this big divide or continental divide between basic research and clinical research. And I also noticed that over the years there is some kind of getting closer. Uh, that you cannot stay away from basic research when you come to clinical work. And the way, by the way, I'm raising uh, the young physicians that work with me is exposing them to basic research, even though they are clinical investigators. So I'm, I like the fact that, clinical, that basic research is influencing clinical research, dictates much of the work in clinical research, and the clinicians need to have those tools in order to be able to understand all the nuances of the tumors. It's not anymore one tumor and you look at the slides and say this is a lymphoma. There is a lot of molecular nuances and other nuances and to be a good clinician you need to know it these days. I think it was, it's not, it wasn't, it's not done. It, we are starting a year of remarkable activities, tremendous growth, and I, I think this, some of this information represented the huge number of countries, the uh, representatives that participate in this meeting, the rapid growth of the members, the rapid growth of the attendees of these meetings is becoming impressive, which means it is serving a specific need, particularly for the practicing clinician to get fresh exposure to all the information that is coming up. And that should be the motto and the theme of the future meeting. And there is no question that this is successful in this respect.